Mexico. What about uh, the rise so far over the past six years? Uh, look, I think, I think there's more, uh, more upside to the yuan, but it's going to be uh, fairly carefully controlled by the PBOC. Uh, over the next uh, year or so, we think that uh, you, the yuan will go from about 6.46 today uh, to about uh, 6 uh, 6.03 uh, by the end of next year, so uh, fairly consistent and, and modest uh, strength in, in the Chinese yuan. Yep. As for the year, taking a look at the uh, Bloomberg data, so the yuan has appreciated about 4.7 percent. Uh, you know, some were saying that when it was deep pegs, uh, we could be seeing the purse strings really loosen. Some have been disappointed by how much and how much flexibility the yuan has seen. How about for you and Commonwealth Bank? Yeah, look, I think you just got to accept that they're just going to do it in a very controlled and, and modest way. Uh, I don't think they're going to just let the, uh, the currency freely float any time soon. They've got to really develop their financial system uh, significantly further, uh, make sure the banks can cope with a lot of uh, capital inflows and outflows, but also develop uh, things like the bond market. Um, so that, that's, that thing takes a lot of time. The Chinese authorities have moved in that direction, but it's going to take uh, quite a long time, I think. Okay, so I guess uh, the hopes of being a reserve currency, is that pegged to when the currency, the yuan, will be freely floated? Yeah, that's right. I, I, I think there's a lot more work to do before the yuan is a, a reserve currency. I don't think there are too many central banks uh, seeking exposure there. You need to increase the liquidity of, of the bond market and, and other markets in the in, uh, yuan-denominated uh, uh, markets first, and that's going to take a long time. Of course, you're seeing a fair bit of it is starting to happen in Hong Kong and some of the other offshore centres. Uh, but the, you really need to strengthen the financial system and deepen it uh, significantly further before that's a plausible uh, possibility. I guess the question is timeline. When do you think that will actually happen then? Uh, I, I think at least five years' time. I think uh, they'll move very slowly, a lot of baby steps, and then, um, then one day they'll, they'll say that they're going to uh, freely float the currency. That's, that's a long, long way off from now. Okay, what about the inflation battle right now in China? Some are predicting maybe if we have inflation holding at 5% plus, it's going to push the yuan to appreciate a little bit faster than what had been anticipated earlier on this year. Yeah, look, I, I, th I think that that's probably right. Uh, the, uh, the exchange rate is a tool of policy, and it can be used to uh, bear down on those inflation pressures. Uh, and the other thing that it's also doing, uh, that stronger exchange rate encourages a move to towards uh, more consumer-led spending, and that's another thing that's got to happen uh, in the Chinese economy and more broadly uh, in terms of uh, the global imbalances. I think the, uh, the, the U US uh, government would be a lot happier if the Chinese citizens uh, were spending a lot more, particularly on, on US imports. So the currency is mm -hmm. an important tool in that regard as well, Susan.